sugar, come on in the kitchen. I'm Michelle. And I'm Loretta. And today we are going to show you how to make a delicious and easy and quick banana pudding. Now you know in the South, banana pudding is everything. Everything. It's at every family reunion, every, every church social. Yes. Okay, so you know the cool thing about banana pudding is you can change it up any way you want to. Uh, you know, people use vanilla wafers. Mm -hmm. Well, we're gonna use these sh pecan shortbread cookies oh, that, that have been chopped up. Okay. We're gonna use these in there today. But my mama used to use graham crackers. Mm -hmm. She would use whatever kind of cookies she had in the pantry. Okay, so today we're going to use our trifle bowl just because you know, it's gonna be pretty and that can be the centerpiece of your dessert table. But you can also use any glass bowl that you want. We're even gonna make a little one for like, when you're gonna send some to your neighbor, mm -hmm. you know, who's been sick or whatever, just a little individual size bowl. You could make the whole thing in the smaller bowls as well. Okay. So put most of your cracker, uh, most of your cookie crumbs okay. in the bottom. Okay. And right now those are good and crispy, but as the pudding kind enough? of sucks up, Put a little more. Okay. Don't be stingy. Okay. Okay. You put a few in here. Okay. You just want a, a little, little left to garnish the top of it. Put a little Do more. I need to crush them more? Well, that's that's pretty good. Okay. What's going to happen is mm -hmm. those, um, when the pudding gets in there, mm -hmm. it's going to make those cookies softer. Okay. Okay, Loretta, usually you mix pudding with what? Milk. Milk. Mm -hmm. We're not going to mix the pudding with milk. Okay, what are we using? We're going to use sweetened condensed milk and ice water. I, oh. This is supposed to be four cups of cold water. Uh -huh. I did one cup of ice and three cups of water. Okay. So pour the sweetened condensed milk in there. Okay. And then with the water, mm -hmm. and then we're going to whisk it. Okay. And then it's gonna look like milk, and then we're gonna add our dry pudding to it. In the same bowl? Uh, yes, right there in the same bowl. Now, this is interesting, but this recipe calls for banana cream pudding and vanilla pudding. Now, I really like banana cream, so if I were making this for me, I would probably use two boxes of banana cream. Okay. Uh, some people don't like banana cream, which you eat banana pudding, so, you know. If they don't want banana cream, they could use two vanillas. But I want you to open those and add those Whatever. into your uh, sweetened condensed milk okay. mixture. We got to give it a little cooking in. Oh yes, that's a must. Okay. Do we need to use a measuring spoon? Well, you can if you want a measuring spoon, get a measuring spoon, but I measure cooking it with my heart. Okay, I'll get a spoon. Okay. <laughs> All right. You need as much, yes, a teaspoon. Okay. <laughs> All right, go ahead and add that to your, add that to your banana okay. pudding mixture. Yes, and stir it. Keep on stirring. Okay. Can you smell that? Yes. That just upped our game, didn't it? Uh, you know, pudding has to kind of set for a few minutes okay. before you can really, um, before it will thicken up. Okay. So as long as you've got it, you know, pretty well incorporated with the sweetened condensed milk, uh, you can just let it sit there for a minute while we whip the cream. Okay, we are going to whip this cream. This is heavy whipping cream. Okay. Uh, if you don't want to whip your cream, you could use a Cool Whip or something like that. But in this case, because we're going for that rich flavor, yes. I want you, now, this is only half full, so that's a pint. Oh, okay. So go ahead and pour all that into the mixer. Half full, this is a half well, full container. Well, this is a half full container. Okay, now turn this on, uh, start on a medium speed and then move up to high with a whip attachment. What a medium before or six? Or Maybe a six. Okay. 
And then as it starts to get thicker, uh -huh. then you can turn it up even higher. Okay. See how mm -hmm. it's getting nice and thick? Yes. But that's still not, that's still not mm -hmm. thick enough. That's a still a little too liquidy. Yes. So let's turn it back on. But we want to make sure that we don't walk away and not pay attention to it. Okay. Because it will make you mad the first time you leave this alone and it turns to butter. Okay. Because it does it just that fast. So you're putting it back on high. Uh-huh. Okay, while we're still waiting for our pudding to set up, okay. let's go ahead and get the bananas peeled and cut and added to our mixture. Now, you know how to peel the banana? Yes, from the top. No, peel from it from the, the bottom. Watch, watch how easy it is to peel from the bottom. Oh, nice. Okay, because sometimes this doesn't want to. There is a difference. Right, all right. Go ahead and peel your bananas. And, and that's on the chop. Right. Um, four? Yeah. What size? Any um, size? I sort you? of chop them um, about like that. Okay. Yeah. Some people chop them skinny, but I want a big chunk of banana. How's that chopping? That's some good chopping. The recipe calls for between six and eight bananas. Okay. And since we're dividing that, put you some more in there. Don't be, don't be stingy okay. on your neighbor. Okay. Okay. Now, uh -huh. put in a layer of bananas and then some pudding and then another layer of gotcha. bananas. Gotcha. So you got plenty of bananas, let's use them. Okay. All right. So go ahead and put them at the base. Though. Right. Okay. Kind of spread them out. Okay. So See, those bananas will protect those crackers from coming into contact immediately with the gotcha. uh, pudding as well. How we looking? We're looking pretty good. All right, so let's save those three bananas. Okay. Go ahead and chop them up, but let's save those for another layer. Okay, so notice how nice and thick our pudding is. Yes. That's also a very dense, rich mixture. Mm -hmm. So imagine when you fold in that cream, it's gonna be lighter and fluffier. Okay. Now, one of the things we tell children when, when they are making this is they're like, why don't you just pour the pudding in there and whip it up? Well, we don't want to deflate our cream. So I want you just to take it, spatula fulls at the time, and add it into your pudding and stir it around. Okay. And that way, I do, our, two or one, uh, do or all of it. Okay. You're going to get all of that. And, and when you mix it with the pudding, it won't be deflated. Okay, you're doing a good job of folding. Okay. Uh, folding is just gentle stirring where what you're trying to achieve is you want to get the two ingredients mixed mm -hmm. without beating. Okay. And you know, you want to fold things that are soft like your whipped cream. Okay, how about this? Good. Okay, mm -hmm. now I want you to pour some in that dish. Oh, in the small one? In the small one. Start with your small dish. Okay. You kind of get it. All right, good. All right. Now, pour some in the big dish. And if you want, pour about half of that in there. Okay. And then go back and add more bananas uh, since you've got them. You know, okay. my bananas, since I don't really eat them much, mm -hmm. if I bought them for the banana pudding, they're going in there. Okay, so just all spread right. them all around. Right, just like that. Okay. Oh, it looks so good. Mm. I love the color of banana pudding. It's kind of a butter color, mm -hmm. but if we wanted it white on the top, you would just have reserved out a little bit of your whipping cream. Oh. Okay. to top it all off. So pull all of this? All of it. Oh, beautiful. Look how pretty it is. Beautiful. That's why we like to use that kind of um, trifle dish. All right, now, crush those up a little bit more than they are crushed up. Okay. And then just sprinkle a little along the top in the picture. Don't you always have somebody that you just want to send a little love out just of sugar yes. and pudding and bananas? Yes. And you can easily do that, and you haven't taken, you haven't dipped out of your, out of your uh, big bowl that you're getting ready to serve for dinner. Yes. Now you know what that needs. A garnish. Right in the middle. I, I believe in a garnish. You do. 
Oh. Here you are. Beautiful. All we have to do now okay. is refrigerate it until time for serving. Now, one thing that kind of aggravates some people about banana pudding is bananas are gentle and tender. And once you start cutting them up, by this time tomorrow, those bananas are gonna start turning brown. Yes. The one thing sometimes people do to prevent that is they will put a little bit of lemon juice in a Ziploc bag and cut their bananas up in there. You do get a little bit of an extra citrusy flavor. Um, in my opinion, I'm getting ready to serve that banana pudding and there won't be any leftover, so I don't do that. But if I was trying to make that last all week, I probably would, okay? So all we have to do is refrigerate that until time for serving okay. and we're good to go. Okay, you ready to taste I'm your ready. product? Shut the front door. Shut the front door. Mm. Okay, so just imagine if you had used Teddy Grahams in here, uh -huh. or if you had used Snickerdoodle cookies, or Chips Ahoy cookies. Any of those would be good. I think the reason that that is unusual to you is it's not the standard vanilla wafers, yes. bananas, and pudding. Yes. So it is good. Try it when you're making your own pudding. Try mm. it. Mix mm. it up some. Use the vanilla pudding. Use the banana cream pudding. Use. Uh, whipping cream, use Cool Whip, use chocolate chip cookies, use pecan sandy cookies, anything that you like. Mm -hmm. Use some pineapple and, oh. and some graham crackers if you want to. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like and subscribe, and if you click the notification bells, you'll be alerted when we add a new recipe. If you want to, comment. You are welcome to comment what you would like to see demonstrated in the uh, section below as long as you can be nice.